Hey everybody, this is Eric for Phone Scoop, and uh, what we're taking a look at right now is Windows Phone 7.5 Mango. Um, this is installed on an old Samsung Focus from last year, so I'm not going to do any tour of the hardware because it doesn't really matter, it's just an old build. Um, what's important here, of course, is uh, the new version of, uh, of Windows Phone, which Microsoft has been working on for uh, quite a while. You can see right here on the home screen, calendar appointment, uh, text message notification, email notification. So I can see at a glance that uh, I've got uh, some unread messages and things to attend to. Um, the main home screen looks very similar. You're um, probably not going to notice too much of a difference. Um, it supports more tiles and uh, still allows you to pin tiles and move them around so you can hold this and swap places with that one and uh, pretty easy to do that. Um, you're, you can pin a lot more things to the front, uh, to the front tile menu here. Um, you can do apps, folders, mail folders, uh, just tons and tons of things. Um, most of the changes to Mango are buried pretty deep under the surface uh, and uh, are not readily available and easy to see. But uh, we'll uh, jump into uh, the People Hub here and uh, you can see there's the uh, last thing I tweeted a little while ago and uh, if I go to uh, the left a little bit you can see uh, here are some recent um, recent Twitter posts that are integrated into my people hub so now I can see uh, you know what my uh, Twitter friends are up to and you probably recognize some of these names on Twitter and um, you know it's a it's a uh, neat thing to be able to see Twitter here as well as uh, Facebook and uh, LinkedIn um, they're all here so you can all get an idea of what everybody's doing at a quick glance in your people hub without necessarily having to pull out and go to um, the Facebook application or the Twitter application going back to uh, to mail um, you've got uh, plenty of, uh, of cool things going on in the email thing here um, we can uh, download the images here so this looks nicer so there we go um, plenty of tools in the uh, in the email program uh, and my favorite is um, is that it now supports uh, threaded messaging let's, uh, let's go to my um, I think I have to go to my uh, Gmail Google Mail yeah I'll go here and uh, you can see here here's a threaded message right here and you can quickly pull down and and see the messages that this person has sent me um, if I go to uh, to a few others um, let's see where's one that I know has a number of uh, here you can uh, see this we could see that uh, I sent a few replies here and there's uh, a few other um, uh, messages in there so it's just it's neat to be able to just do that at a glance you can you know right from the main page of the of the email see that uh, you have a few messages here in your conversation and getting rid of it's just as simple as doing that and uh, you can uh, check things off delete them send them to uh, to folders uh, a lot of powerful stuff in the um, in the uh, the email program uh, Internet Explorer has uh, has been um, completely revamped and uh, it's now using IE9 which is uh, a pretty capable browser I must say um, they've done a lot of work under the hood to make this um, do really well with uh, graphics and performance um, what we'll do is uh, oh here we'll go to uh, just delete that whole thing And we will go to phone scoop. See if it, uh, yep, picked it out for us. And uh, phone scoop, you know, is a is a is a, a website you might have heard of, and uh, it includes lots of uh, interesting uh, reviews and news about phones. And uh, we always have plenty of graphics on the uh, the homepage, so it's loading all the uh, the images there and uh, you can see how it looks and we'll we'll zoom in so that you can read the text and um, it also does uh, pinch to zoom um, you can uh, fire up more tabs you can add 
you know, bookmarks, see your bookmarks, see your browsing history. Of course, you can pin uh, pin websites to the uh, to the home page for uh, for faster browsing. And of course, one of the other really great things about Windows Phone 7.5 Mango is that it supports uh, multitasking uh, in sort of a fast app switching mode. So if you press and hold the back key, you'll get this screen and you can jump back. So there's my inbox, uh, there's my other inbox, there's the people hub, and there's the calendar. And these are all things that, uh, that I was looking at recently. And, um, you know, it preserves state so you can... Uh, um, go back to exactly where you were before in any given application whether you're in the middle of an email or um, a message uh, it all just uh, works and um, going back out to the home screen um, Xbox Live of course is still there uh, oh and the pictures hub has been uh, expanded again and uh, it now includes uh, Twitter so it will reach into Twitter and LinkedIn as well as Facebook uh, to uh, show you the most recent batches of pictures uh, and you can see there's a uh, plenty of stuff going on here in my uh, stream Ooh, new BMW M5 let's look at that nice uh, pretty colored blue car there probably faster car than anybody really needs to uh, to drive so uh, but you know it's neat you can see the album and uh, and it looks nice and crisp the text is very legible and uh, the image looks good and uh, just going back, um, you can see that there's just plenty to go over. We've got uh, a lot of things to look at in the picture hub. And of course, I can also uh, add favorites, you know, like your own um, uh, album that, uh, that you're interested in having quick access to. And um, you can sort things by date, by contact, and of course you can look at the whole camera roll for things that you've already shot yourself and uh, that's the pictures hub and of course it's really easy to share to content uh, to comment on photos and interact with people 44 new items hmm what's all this oh this is me this is uh, all the stuff that I've done so you can see my Windows Live notifications of uh, all the different things that people have reached out to me uh, what's new here's um, here's more Twitter stuff and you can see a lot of this is stuff that uh, this is all stuff that I tweeted um, some of today's headlines and uh, here's my profile again so I could post a message to um, any of these services and uh, check in uh, I can set chat status messages so that's all good uh, nice to have access to that and um, same access to the music and video hub we've got the Zoom music store here so that you can um, look for uh, for for music and stuff to download and uh, AT&T radio and that's one of the things this um, this AT&T radio thing uh, that's something that sh you should notice as you move throughout the hubs uh, with its new app connect program so we're in the music we're in the music hub and since I'm in the music hub AT&T is recommending hey why don't you uh, check out AT&T radio um, but you know it could also uh, recommend Slacker or Pandora and even if I haven't downloaded those apps I'll see that they're available and could be of interest to me since this is the application I'm using it uh, you know right at this time go back one and of course the uh, the marketplace for applications this has been uh, overhauled a bit and we've got an app center for AT&T and Samsung has its own um, and uh, we can just go in here and dive through and there's more than 30,000 applications available for, for Windows Phone devices so that's great and um, you can see it's recommending a few things right here uh, it's showing us some games uh, some music based applications uh, Flickster and again back out to the beginning so um, the marketplace is, has done really well and has a web version now that you can use to uh, to sort through your applications. So those are the basics of uh, of Windows Phone 7.5 Mango. It is uh, it's a faster, zippier version of Windows Phone. Has hundreds of more features, and a lot of them are minor. Okay, well, I understand they're not super duper intensive in your face brand new features, but it's a lot. They've added a lot of functionality to the phone, and is really um, nothing that any of the other smartphone platforms do that Windows Phone Mango cannot. So there it is, a quick introduction to Windows Phone Mango, coming to a Windows Phone handset near you in the coming week.